probably the same challenges that I still face as a judge, which is that you still get stereotyped. At that period of time, I mean, Asian American women were not lawyers. And so, you know, besides being mistaken for the interpreter or, or uh, the court reporter or, um, or just treated badly, I said, you get a lot of sweethearts, a lot of um, brushing you off, uh, a lot of um, assuming that what you have to say isn't important. And uh, even as a young lawyer, even as a, as a partner in my uh, law firm, if I was with a, um, a young Caucasian man, they always, the other side would always talk to him and ask him, you know, his opinion and ask him, you know, what is the client going to do? And I'd have to stop and say, excuse me, it's my client. This is my case. I'm the partner on the case. And they would just kind of go, really? Um, you get a lot of that. Um, I, I feel, uh, a lot of women of color on the bench feel that we get a lot less respect uh, than uh, do, say, white males or even white females. And um, there's a feeling more that they can be disrespectful to us and that that is okay. Of course it's not, and they learn that after they've had an interaction or two with me. You know, I work very, very hard to make sure that I have control in my courtroom and that uh, people understand that, that uh, uh, women of color can be um, the boss in, in this uh, uh, situation. But yeah, it's still, it's still an issue.